Right then, another R8 video. And as you can see behind this, there's still a V8 petrol engine in there. We've not really done anything with it. Seems to drive absolutely fine. So not sure why it will wear it when we bought it, but cleaned up pretty good. Only thing to say about it, tires were crap and wheels had crap paint on them. But other than that, seems fine. So this could be something that we regret, but this video is kind of a soundboard cry for help. Not sure what it is, but basically the reaction we got from saying this were a 1.9 PD was just crazy. So I'm not sure if that means that if we do something actually usable or normal, if it'll get the same reaction later on. But we've got a few ideas, but we need help in choosing some of the right components as well, because we're sort of fixated in what we do. And there's definitely people out there that see a lot more different stuff than we do as well. So we've got a few options. This turbo here was fitted to our Audi A5 when it was 507 horsepower and still plenty to give. So if we're gonna put a V6 engine in there, then this is what I'd wanna put on it. I think if we are gonna build it, I think it'd be nice to be manual, just because I think a car like this suits a manual gearbox better. And I'd like to do it for top speed events because we've got loads of track cars, race cars, road cars that do a better job at all that than this ever would, or at least with the budget we'd want to spend on it. So I think top speed events, manual is where we want to be. So we've got one definite option if we go for a V6 and that's the OB3 gearbox, which not sure, there's an OB4, which is a four wheel drive on the OB3. The only cars we can see fitted to were the front wheel drive 2.7 V6s, which are quite rare in the UK. They do a um, Multitronic you know, normally, which is like the varial transmission thing, which is absolutely garbage. That 2.7 engine's good. And then it will fit to that crap gearbox, which just ruined them cars. But we can get them, they're not the cheapest. And looking at what we can see from Etkin, I've never had one in front of my face, to be sure, but looking at what we can see, the three litre V6 twin disc clutch, which is very strong and you can get a slight upgrade for it, which will easily take the power that we're wanting, especially because we're gonna move the torque band up a little bit. That gearbox looks like it would work. So it'd be nice if anybody knows much about them to see, because if you look at how that's designed, I don't know if Danny can do some cutaways or whatever, but where the sort of rear prop shaft comes off, there's just a blanking point, and you've still got the sort of angle shaft that then feeds a very small front differential, which if we're running it for top speed events, we don't need a limited slip diff, that's not a problem, because I don't believe anybody makes them for them. But that diff would be the weak point in my opinion. The other option would be to sort of try and make that, if, if the twin disc clutch doesn't fit in that, make an OB4, so an, a three litre quattro gearbox, make it front wheel drive by putting some components from the uh, OB3 on, which they're not expensive looking at them, but you'll still have that weak front diff. So not sure on that one. That's the option that comes to mind. If anybody's got any other ideas, then we'll see. The other option as well, engine wise, would be the V8 TDI, which that's what Danny wants, because then we can take the rear bumper off and have some big massive turbos hanging underneath the back lights here, something crazy like that. Whether that's something we can do, I'm not too sure, because if we can't get a gearbox that'll hold the power and the torque from a V6, we're definitely not gonna get one that'll hold it from the V8. I think it's borderline on the V6. But if anybody's got any ideas, obviously we don't wanna be putting a 25, 30 grand gearbox in this car, which like sort of stuff like, um, like the Ultima GTRs and stuff like they run Porsche and um, 911 GT2 and GT3 gearboxes, which are an absolute fortune. That would mean adapters and plates stuff. So it's, it would be expensive gearbox on top of expensive modifications on top of modifying it just to get it in the chassis. So it could be very expensive. So if people have got ideas and it makes sense, this project will go ahead. If it looks like it's not going to work, we might end up just forgetting about it and just the easiest option to do a top speed car would just be get a 
A4, A6, whatever, and just bolt this big turbo and some nitrous on it and let it have it. So we'll see. We're happy to do whatever people want to do. But put in the comments what you'd like to see engine-wise, and then if you've got any real assistance for us, any I've tried this, I've seen this, I think this is a good idea, either email us or put it in the comments for us to have a quick look at, and we'll try and respond to everybody. But we normally get tons, so it doesn't happen straight away sometimes. But yeah, really want to do something with this, because it does drive nice. It's a nice chassis, very dated inside, but if we're using it for top speed events, it doesn't matter. So yeah, we'll uh, see what happens.